We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. His arrest was the handiwork of the local sheriff, who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculations, Bentley determined that the best way to do that was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was gonna have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge.
a noose for Tennessee, so we don't have time for a complicated plan. All my data points to one thing. The quickest route inside that prison is to get yourself arrested. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kid Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh, you mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, it's probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spitters. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the old west? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. Find a poster, make it look goofy, and move on. Just like junior high. I'd buy that one. Not for sale. It's puny greenhorn. I bet the original artist damaged his vision staring at this guy. I like it, Sly. Let's hope so. It's called No Good Law Man. If I was as homely as this guy, I would not hang my picture everywhere. You're on a tear, Sly! I wish I could tear them down. Here's Weakling of the West! I think vain begins to describe this guy. That's a beaut, Sly. It's an improvement. 
I'll name this one the Homely Buckaroo. Sheriff puts up posters of himself. Wow, Sly! You made him look even worse! I love a challenge. I call it Ten Star Loser. This guy's a real egomaniac. I think you just achieved troublemaker status, Sly. Oh, now these really chops my hide. I'm going to find this artist and bust his thumbs. And maybe his pinky. <laughs> Phase two? Absolutely. Apparently, the sheriff also loves lollipops, but his favorite is a particular Cuban variety which has to be shipped in specially. Supposedly, they taste like rice and beans. Ugh, gross. Agreed. But if we clean him out, he'll have to wait weeks for the next shipment 
and that should really tick him off. You know, you're a little too excited about sending me to the slammer, Bentley. It's all about the job, Sly. Speaking of which, in case you hadn't noticed, this Sheriff Toothpick is his own biggest fan. In fact, it looks like he's throwing himself a festival, and it's in full swing. If you take that banner down, I'm sure it'll be the final straw. Right. Let's go rain on this guy's parade. Okay, I just need to get up to that banner. Of all the things to get busted for, I can't believe it's banner dumping. Okay, there's the banner. I just need to knock those clothespins off. Hold your fires, boss! That there is the scribbly, lolly thieving outlaw I've been looking for! Oh, well, amigo, <laughs> you just booked yourself a permanent room in this stony lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's up to me to recon the area. I need to get some shots of that prison, but I better keep a low profile. I don't want to alert the guards. Sly and Tennessee Kid Cooper are in that high tower.
an interesting sign. Let me get a shot. Unless I'm mistaken, that is definitely a munitions dump. Very handy. Up. I have no mercy. Aha! There is clearly some structural weakness along the rear wall. Um, howdy. Howdy yourself. Looks like you must have ticked old toothpick off pretty good. I like that. You got a name? It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Now, son, you should know I don't take kindly to folks funning on my family name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear, I'm not joking. I can explain. Talk ain't worth spit, boy. Only one way to prove you're a Cooper. Bust us out of here! Right. My friend Bentley's working on that. I hope. Sly, press the square button to swing that ball. You'll smash through that Sly, you need to make your way to the bottom of the tower. Sly, here's your chance. Use the ball to break down that door and bust Tennessee out. Okay, kids, stand clear. All right. I guess break time is you over. You probably move that... Why am I the only one with a... Listen, friend, they're planning on hanging me tomorrow. You want to trade? Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? Uh, I have a 
thing in my ear that lets me talk to my friend. And now he's telling me you need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up too. Eh, they've been right so far. Let's get to it. Wait by the door while you work this one out. about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick? That shady son of a gun is crooked than a sack of coke screws. Plus, he framed me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just know it. Yeah. 
carrying the TNT. <laughs> I'm carrying the TNT. one who's got to lug the dynamite. Well, let's get going. I ain't getting any younger. say I knew you was a Cooper the second I laid eyes on you. Thanks, but Tennessee, we need to go. You ready? Well, uh, not really. Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the Sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were gonna steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West.
Okay, the first order of business is getting Tennessee his guns back. Well, it's just the one gun now. I upgraded. But yeah, I need my shooting iron back. Agreed. Uh, according to my sources, Toothpick closed this old gold mine several months ago, declaring it unsafe. In fact, he's converted it to a storage facility for his stolen goods, including Tennessee's gun. We'll need to take measures with this job so as not to arouse suspicion. So, employing a masterful disguise, I'll tail Toothpick to the mine's entrance and mark it with a homing beacon. Murray, you'll then use the beacon to find your way there. Toothpick's sure to have secured the entrance, so we'll need your formidable skills to get it open. Then, once we have access, Tennessee can get in and get his gun back. Let's get to work. Okay, I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct sight. <laughs> Okay, I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct sight. Hmm, reckon I'll head out to the old mine. Maybe check on things. Make sure no one steals gold. <laughs> yes. I really need to equip this chair with air conditioning. Yes, sorry. I got this here down all sold up. Ain't nobody's stopping me now. Lead on, toothpick. <laughs> 
I wish I could grow a real mustache. I need to get myself a nice, cool drink. Pronto. On second thought, I should have gone with a sombrero. Ah! Ooh. I'm sweating rivers out here. Just blending in like any other cowboy turtle. There were one Cooper around. Now, I have to deal with two. I hope we get there soon. This mustache is itching like crazy. But he's going to find this entrance. Time to take a little look at my goal. <laughs> All right, time to open up a can of hack. Oh, scorpions! Guys, help! Yeehaw! The cavalry's are coming. Don't worry, Bentley. I got the bug spray right here. Clock speed! Better use the speeder code! Time for that upgrade slot! Speeder code engaged, updating physics code module, and voila! Elastic projectiles! Perfect for shooting around corners! I can't take this security on directly. Time to bounce some shots around the corner. The speeder's laser loop will work perfectly on that switch. If I press and hold the R button while moving the ship, I can close a damaging laser loop around a target. I need to use the data key on that lock to defeat the firewall. All right, I can use this data key to disable that firewall. Looks like I should just go with the electron flow in this thing. Yikes, just looking at that wormhole is making me dizzy. I better steer clear of that. around multiple switches would do the trick. Password, please. I need to use 
the data key on that lock yes, with the a data key. firewall. Password Oh boy, looks like they brought out the big guns. I better tackle this big guy piece by piece. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Data key should fit that lock. The gate is open. Time to dock the ship. Security, thy game is hacked! Awesome, Murray! Okay, Tennessee, you're up! Shoot! I'll be in and out quicker than a hyperactive rattlesnake! Uh, hey, guys! This door's kinda... Uh, heavy! to get reacquainted. Let's see. First, I need to press and hold the L button to enter targeting mode. Once in targeting mode, I can use the right stick to place the cursor over a target. Then I just press the R button to pull the trigger. Yes, sir, it's all coming back to me. out. I wonder what old toothpick is cooking up in here. What in tarnation? Technique. First, I tap on the touch screen to enter crack shot mode. Next, I can use the right stick to move the cursor and draw a bead on multiple targets. Then I just tap the touch screen again to blast them. I can only use crack shot when my Cooper focus is full. This one's tricky. I need to shoot all those locks at the same time. Wow! 
far faster than a jackalope with his tail on fire. This must be the express. Ain't no better way to get around. You couldn't catch me with a bolt of lightning. Yep, I need to keep pushing.
Too bad, gents. Looks like it's your unlucky day. office is somewhere in the upper levels of the saloon. To find out what he's planning, our best bet is to plant a bug. Needless to say, we must remain undetected. Conveniently, I discovered they're looking for a new bartender. So I'll go in, undercover, and control the situation by introducing the patron to my special home-brewed sarsaparilla. Your mustache looks... bigger. What have you been feeding it? Pay attention, Sly. You'll need to enter through that window and make your way to the ventilation system. Meanwhile, I'll have the goons inside so sugared up, they'll be seeing double until they crash. Lord! Once you launch the RC car in the vents, I'll take control and guide it to Toothpick's office. You're not gonna start wearing that mustache all the time, are you? Jealousy is such an ugly emotion, Sly. Watch your back, pal. This place looks pretty rough. Will do. See you inside. Greetings! 
been informed this establishment is in dire need of an expert tap jockey. Sarsaparilla? Well, these guys look thirsty. Let's see. I can move left and right simply by using the left step. When a patron steps up to the bar, I can slide him a drink by pressing the X button. These guys don't look like patient types, so I'd better make it fast. I'd better keep an eye on the sarsaparilla gauge. It's going to take my whole supply to quiet this bunch. The meter should indicate how much sarsaparilla I have left. Something tells me it's gonna take every drop. I can't let those spiders put the 
Partners got an ace up his sleeve, and we're about to go all in. This trump card's going to crush Cooper and the rest of his claim jumping gang. We's going to learn a mute dog yank a rattlesnake's tail, lest you're looking to hey, get bit. <laughs> then we are going to finish loading up the train and haul our sweet little kisters out of this one horse town. Once we get that loot back into present day, I, Toothpick, going to be worth millions! Uh, oopsie. Dang it, boss! Would you watch where you're pointing that thing? Are you talking to me? Whoa, boss, whoa. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean nothing. Break out the dust clock. That's not good. Looks like Toothpick rustled himself a pretty lady. Sweet jumping jackrabbit! That's no lady, that's Carmelita! What is she doing here? You know her? I'm afraid so. Something is very wrong here, Tennessee. But all quantum physics aside, we have to rescue her. Nobody can get there faster than you. I'll grab Sly and Murray, and we'll meet you in the van. Just get going! Huh. I wonder who Bentley's lady friend is. Kid, that toothpick's lower than a snake in a ditch. Heck, rescuing pretty ladies is a hobby of mine oh. anyway.
too happy to get rid of this one. Eey, her tongue sharp enough to cut leather. <laughs> Stinking cowards! Afraid to untie me and fight like men? I swear, when I get out of this... No sense fretting about that, little lady. Mm. Cry, cry, little dear. Yes, just enjoy the ride! <laughs>
need to blow that barrier away! Can't you stop this thing? Don't worry your pretty head, Miss Carmelita! Everything's under control! you pleased to meet you ma'am why I'm Tennessee kid Ki don't tell me you're a Cooper right I knew it yes ma'am Bentley told me you stop calling me ma'am the name's inspector Fox wait Bentley's here well looks like they're right behind us Carmelita I'm glad you're okay that conniving little... Much obliged for a helping hand, Inspector Fox. Let me run these banditos over to prison. And I'll be back for you. Oh, the wicked split. Of course, you feeling neighborly? You could just turn yourselves in. <laughs> as much as I like the idea of Sly in a cell, Nobody kidnaps Inspector Carmelita Fox and gets away with it! I reckon that also includes tying her to a runaway stage? Watch it! I'm in no mood for smart remarks. Now, are you ready for another mission, Tennessee? Yes, ma'am! Oh, I mean, I surely am, Inspector Fox! And another thing, no more whistling. I don't want to hear no guards whistling for no reason, no help. This river is dangerous, but it leads back to the prison. Way I figure it, they won't be expecting us to come this way. Are you sure you're up to this, Miss Fox? Uh, that's Inspector Fox? But just call me Carmelita. Thanks for the rescue, by the way. My pleasure. Inspector? Are you some kind of sheriff? How'd you get mixed up with Sly? It's a long, complicated story. Right now, I need to rescue that ringtail. So I can wring his neck! Wee, you are feisty! You remind me of this one little gal who... So, what's this prison like, anyway? Uh, well, plenty of fire, for starters. Terrific. Let's get going.
Miss Carmelita, you didn't forget how to use that pistol, did you? Not a chance. I just pressed the R button to pull the trigger. Wait to give that ring tail a piece of my mind. Ahead. I'll find another way there. are not smart. Leader, and not the friendly kind. Looks like we got company, Miss Carmelita, and not the friendly kind. I'll keep the raft still, and you blast those dang jackalopes!
course, these boys do get a mite irritated. Some dopes are still looking for a fight. Go on. I'll stay here and cover you. All right. Who wants to eat some land? Oh, darn naughty cool. Oh, bring it on, man, boys. Make once, and All I'll right, eat again. Tennessee, just one more lock. You fellas are messing with the wrong Get outlaw. Oh, nice of you. Oh, up. Oh, yes, now I can give Blue Paradox a two for one deal. Whoa. Carmelita, are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. I should leave you in that cage after what you pulled, Sly Cooper. I know. Look, I can explain everything. Why, if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Aw, shucks. Handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know... Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. I 
Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? We'll have to track it down later, Murray. Now, what were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. When I saw that arrogant little, that no good lying, ooh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right off his face. I, 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 I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market, but I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned a corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril Le Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't believe it. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy, sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West? Time travel? It was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course, Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Why was I not surprised? <laughs> the flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. But that toad toothpick had stolen Murray's van and Bentley's time machine along with it. I finally cracked the case, and now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk, or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. <sighs> the only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. Now, boys, I know I've earned out my lungs at you all about this already. But some of you said, uh, heard it rightly, cause your lingo is uh, still stale as Monto Cornbread. Shoot, the ways you talk now, it worth it like nickel. Ah, it sticks in my craw, ouch, like I swallowed a horny toad backwards. Ooh, that must hurt. We're in what? The old west now, people, ah, look tough, look like cowboy. We got appearances to keep up. Now. You all better inject a whole lot more color into your language, pronto! Would it hurt one of you to break out the dust cloth once in a while, huh? Take a gander at this office.
Thanks to the Bug and Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going to have to hit that train while it's rolling. But first, we're going to have to catch it. And we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key track switches we will need to throw. And Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen. Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys keep the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wildman is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by, with the third key inside. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste.
sucker punches the Murray! Yo, yo, Brent, my ski! PKO! You got it, Murray! Now get the key! Be careful, Sly! This race is dangerous! They say it's called the 500 because that's how many racers have lost their lives! Also, the course has several checkpoints that you'll need to reach in time to stay in the race! Speaking of which, the only way you're gonna move fast enough is to use that ball! You're gonna need to stay on it the whole race! Not a problem, because you know... Don't say it! That's how I roll. I feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Sly. You better get moving. Ugh, even my tail is tired. Faster, Sly! <laughs> You're in a time crunch here, Sly! <laughs> this definitely reminds me why I prefer picking pockets. Why do I feel like I'm back in prison? Hurry up! The clock is ticking! Time to show these folks some real speed. That's it, Sly! Keep pushing! Can't slow down now. You better get on the ball! I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Sly. You better get moving. Why do I feel like I'm back in prison? Hurry up! The clock is ticking! <laughs> you better get on the ball, Sly. <laughs> this is the craziest race I've ever seen. Can't slow down now. <laughs> You can do this, pal! <laughs> Ugh, even my tail is tired. Come on, Sly! Get your back into it! <laughs> oh, my legs feel like spaghetti. You're in a time crunch here, Sly! Sly, time is running out! Ball spinning, Sly. You're almost there, Sly. Don't stop now. Better keep an eye out for that jackal. Come on, we've almost got this race won. <laughs> Excellent, you got the key, Sly. Now scram. Well, that's it, folks. Looks like this year's champion is going to be... Wait! Wait! Hold everything! We got ourselves a latecomer! Let's see what this pretty little lady has got! Well, what have we here? Little lady, I know you can't be here to shoot, because there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. But if you lose, you gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? I. This guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carbolita, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> Helps 
Perhaps if I pitch your slice base on the targets. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key. Hurt one of you. To break out the dust cloth once in a while, huh? Take a gander at this office. He's disgrace. He's so dusty, I can. Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold trade is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the trade's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the trade, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train.
Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way. But your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing. Don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out! rigged in a gym.
like somebody's got her wires crossed. After this one. Stealing the gold I should have took. This here robbery is gonna be one for the record books. Everybody's keeping an eye out for me. And when I say blast I mean I'm gonna wipe that 
that smoke right off Toothpick's face. Probably heard the saying, dead or alive, well forget this monster, I want... I'd have to retire after this one. Uh, who the heck was supposed to pack my lollipop? Huh? Because I well, can't. I might have to retire I after this one. Stressful that is. It's making me itch. <laughs> because it's under my armor. So, somebody better find the. Self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff. Oh, blast you, Tennessee Kid Cooper! I'm -a gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole, and I'm going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung, and you are done! Oh, am I? <laughs> My gun! No! <laughs> Thanks, Kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, Egypt! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. It's all over, Cooper! Break out the tailbird costume, fly! Watch those lasers, fly! But why does everyone use lasers? Oh, is that the Let's best you got? Let's see how you like my bang bang move that Can't stay in one place. Gotta be moving. Yo, oh, that hurts my ears. Who we'll turned on that blasted whistle? I can't let him squash me.
Come on, Toothpick. I'm right here. Maybe you should talk less and aim more. Dodge this wrecking ball. <laughs> Did you forget you your glasses? Like Maybe you should yeah. talk less and aim more. I just took care of that, Bentley. No, why? The train! It's headed for a broken bridge! I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan? Why? You have to get off that train! Jump to the van! Murray, hit the brakes! They're not working! And I can't shut down the rockets! What? You idiots! You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this. What in tarnation are they doing? And I was just wondering where that golden got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing.
As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when?